Hey, it's Paul. So, so far we've looked at ng if, we've looked at ng if else, and today we're going to look at creating our own ng if. Now, this is going to be simplified in comparison to the actual ng if implementation, but it's close enough. It uses something called the view container reference and the template reference. Let's first off have a quick recap on ng if. So I have a paragraph tag here, and if I type asterisk ng if, and then based on a particular value, which I'm going to add to my component, I'm going to say value is equal to true. So this means show Paul Halliday if value is equal to true. And as we expected, we do get our value. Let's make the value false. And the value is no longer being shown because we've set the value to false. So let's investigate this a little more. What's happening here is we have this asterisk. And the asterisk is effectively shorthand for this. ng template. And inside of the template, we have a paragraph tag with some text inside of it. And on the template, we are using the ng if structural directive. And we're saying ng if value I'm going to comment this out for a second. Then show this paragraph tag. As you can see, the value is false, so we don't get our text. Let's make it true. By making the value true, we get our text back again. So then, how would we write our own ngf? Let's make a directive. So we'll use ngGD, so ngGeneratedirective, and we'll call it my ngf. We can see that the directive was created and was also updated inside of our app module.ts. We can head over to our directive. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to simply call it my ng if. And we'll need to import a few things. So we'll first off import the view container reference and the template reference. We'll inject the view container as private view container and then the template reference, so private template reference, and we can also implement on init. Now the actual ngf implements on changes, but let's have a look at on init for now. So ng on init, and when this directive is initialized, we've got to check for a particular value. If that value is true or false, like we're setting inside of the component, we are going to show the content inside of the directive. If not, we're simply going to clear the view, like so. Let's make a boolean. So we'll just have const condition is equal to true. And we'll say if condition. Then we want to say this.viewcontainer.createEmbeddedView. This allows us to essentially inject the template using this.template inside of what will be our ng template. So if this was true, we would see our Paul Halliday because we would be creating the paragraph tag with the template like so. Else, if the condition is true, we're going to say this.viewcontainer.clear. So we're going to destroy all the views inside of the container. Like I said, this is a super simple implementation. We're just looking at how these things work and how we can potentially use them in our applications. So right now, if we comment this out and we make a paragraph tag and say Paul Halliday once again, and this time we add asterisk, because remember, we want this to be inside the ng template, my ng if, and we save it, we find that we get Paul Halliday. If I then make this condition equal to false and save it once more, we no longer get the text inside the paragraph. So you can see we're effectively doing the same as ngif, but ngif would probably look for change events and if there's any change events to that variable, and we would also need an input. But at the heart of it, we're looking at a view container and a template reference. To prove that the asterisk is making the ng template, we can do a similar thing as before. So we can make an ng template, and inside of the template, we can say something different this time, like subscribe for 
more videos. And inside of the template, we can add our my ng if. And if we save the file, you can see we don't see the text. But if we make the condition equal to true, we see subscribe for more videos. So I hope this allows you to have an idea of how the view container reference and the template reference works at a high level within Angular 4. My name's Paul, and if you want to see more Angular 4 videos, let me know in the comments section below. And of course, subscribe for more videos if you want to stay updated. Until then, I'll see you very soon in the next video.